I told you, she's going to want a piece of Colonel's chicken, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I don't think I like that euphemism. <laughs> And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. The class bursts into laughter. Aha, aha. Ah. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks into the classroom as everyone stands in silent. When he gets to you, he lifts oh, his nose. This is a dog. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, the irony. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Hmm, your diet is <laughs> lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Okay, this you and my business? Thing. You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart and but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Um, what do you think? Chicken. Chicken. That was smart. I feel like that was a really smart option. Because he's, he's chicken boy. Yeah, and we're playing a chicken game. Yeah. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he looks into it. His <gasps> favorite. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. I think there might be some competition for our new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the uh -huh. snack, leaving your head slick with a coating worm of doggy drool. There's a fan art competition. Cloud as a furry. Cloud as a furry. I don't know how to draw Yeesh. furries. I don't know how to draw furries I either. Draw furries. I don't think I want to know. I don't think I either either. Anyway, it's uh, option is open. Option is open. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind Jealous. to them. Jealous. Yeah. But pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seat and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. JJ, there's still a seat here. It seems no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Uh, two good options. But which will you choose? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sweating. I'm not really, but I'm sweating. I mean, you already were in the, in the game. Wow, life imitates art. But not really, because I'm not sweating. Not really. Because you don't sweat. We've been over this. Uh, um, okay, what do you think? Should we sit by the hot dude or sit by the best friend? Best friend's gotta understand. Okay. You move to take your seat. This is a bad idea. Beside Colonel Sanders. Your friend's gonna hate you. Well, then she was never my friend. She'll understand that I want some You what? You want some what, sir? Uh, uh... It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Wow, uh, thanks for offering me this seat. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do the do it the best you can. It's the only way you'll ever get that feeling of accomplishing something. That's so inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Oh no. Yay, a pop quiz about me. Ew. This incredibly important and surprising short quiz will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knife sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If a train is traveling to point B, if train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to if wash your hands before cooking? Always. Always. So I say extremely. That's right. Forest is to tree as chicken is to. That's easy. That's feather, right? Yeah, I think so. That's okay. right. I'm not. <laughs> I'm also very confused. Not us university students not being able to answer. Riddles. <laughs> what is the most efficient eating utensil A spork. ever created? A spork. That's right. 
That's KFC's thing. Yeah. It's not Popeye's thing, but eh. hey, Popeye, sponsor us. Yeah. Hey, Popeye, sponsor. Wait, we can't say that. We're literally playing a KFC game. They don't have to know that. They're going to know. They're going to know. How would they know? They're going to know. How would they know? They're going to know. How would they know? What food is best for a broken heart? Anything. That's right. Look at me. It's not like I have experience in that. No, not me. Moving on. Is Sprinkles a good boy? Yes. He's best boy. Best boy. That's right. Your total Yay. score is five out of five. Wow. Wow. Be honest. Did you cheat? You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you and watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I, I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Hot diggity JJ, you just scored some major Colonel Sander points with that performance. May I have your attention, student? I have an important announcement to make. Are we just all making announcements now? Wow. Yep. Time for lunch. This is the kind of school I want to be. I guess. This is the kind of school I want to go to too. Wow, the cafeteria is a nice, is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Is this a high school? Oh, I think it's college. Everyone, can I have your attention? I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was- Howdy folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was- It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. <laughs> but I- Shh. Lunch. Lunch. She said, Shh. in honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what the food, what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. That's not even that good looking. Yeah, it's sorry. Not, I mean, eh. sorry. Its contents glimmer in the light. Oh, okay. I'm gonna skip this one too. I do not want to read about put KFC chicken. Wait a damn minute! <laughs> Wait a damn. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket. I'd really appreciate it if you stop tracing his clavicle with your mouse please it's not Knock that shit off it's not intentional i swear <laughs> colonel sanders has filled a bucket with chicken what a novel concept no your stomach begins to grumble as if to say stop thinking and start eating for years i've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken mm. it's not perfect but it pop off by my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required Can to achieve- Can we not say herbs? Herbs. Herbs. 11 what? herbs and spices of fun. Yeah, it's herbs. Wow. Anyway. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What? You think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Psha! Nah, my dude. Nah. <sighs> I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him. Buddy. What is his hair? I think he's a JoJo character reference. Oh, okay. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Buddy. He waits to see what a zinger Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just like writing in my diary. I told you, she's gonna want a piece of Colonel's chicken, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I don't think I like that euphemism. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful and I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. <laughs> You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides close to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is destined for greatness with fame and cooking still skills like this. She wants them all to herself. Mm. Oh, please. Hmm. Well, Van Van the Man Man. 
If you don't want any. I'll take his. Whoa, whoa. Uh, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it or whatever. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts controlling his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and acts unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Wait a second. Look at Ashley's, um, her stockings. She has drumstick... <laughs> Fish. Miss Ma'am. That's so cute. Miss Ma'am. Wow. That's super cute, though. They are. I'm not gonna lie. They are giving what they're supposed to give. You take one piece of the chicken's... Wow. Wow. <laughs> you take one piece of the fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It... It's amazing. No, it's not. Tasting. Oh, whoa. Ooh. <laughs> Tasting Colonel Sanders food transports you <laughs> to another dimension. We're trans. We, our third eye has opened. The prophecy is true. 